<laughs> that's not a good prank. That's like a fucking. That's a. That's a mean prank. Like if I fell for that, I would. That would tear me apart, man. I would. I don't want to have cancer. Oh fuck, dude. You gotta get better at pranks. All right, and I'll try my best. Click. Okay. All right. I. I'm really losing confidence in my pranking abilities. Let's do another prank, though. Let's just hope we get this one right. All right. Ring, don't ring, say ring, ring. it's a prank, dude. Nobody's answering. <laughs> Oh fuck, alright. <laughs> ah, god damn it. Uh, I really thought they would answer the phone and then we could do another prank, but we're out of time. That was it for the Jim Goofster show. Uh, King of the pranks. Everyone go fuck yourself. Alright. Show's over. Stop watching it. Stop watching my prank show. I'm really bad at them and now it's over. But you yeah, you, you're pretty bad. Ah! God damn it. All right, one more prank. One more prank. Here we okay. go. Ring, okay. Ring, okay, okay. One ring. more. Okay, let's go. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, hello. Oh. Who's this? It's me. Um, your dad. Oh, hey, dad. Uh, I love you. I love you, too. I love you so much. I'm proud of you. You did a good job at baseball. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, um... You know, I've just been waiting a long time to hear those words from you. You're not really my dad, are you? You don't, <laughs> you don't sound like my dad. <laughs> I was playing along for a second, but you don't sound like my dad at all, and I, I'm smart. Oh, God damn it! Just fucking, please, I need this. I need this to work, man. I've been doing shit pranks all day, and this one's my last shot. So just say you, you're, you, you got pranked. Say the goofster got you. Uh, okay, dude, Jesus, the, the goofster guy. Hey, 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 hey. Good work. Thank God. All right, click. All right, you all saw that. I had a good point. a really good one. That was one of the best ones I've ever done, actually. So let's go out on a high note. Show's really over now. Don't keep... Okay, that. fine. Keep standing in front of the TV. I get it. You hate me and you want me to suffer. Love I can live with that. Land that last prank. I was absolutely gonna jump in a bathtub with a toaster and just let electricity kill the shit out of me. And thank God I didn't fuck it up because now I can live to see another day and do more pranks. See you next week on Jimmy Goofster's Big Fat Prank Show. Mwah! Yeah. Love you. I bye. <laughs> I feel. I feel like we can just chill here and watch TV. Like their, their television shows are pretty lit. <laughs> Spaghetti in there instead. Okay, That's we gotta right. get the next guy. Why put spaghetti in your nose? People say. Why? 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 Here to demonstrate spaghetti nose, Susan. Um, it's it's uh, very painful. It feels really bad, and I like. My boogers aren't okay, so that this guy's next. G3, Thank head you. of R&D, responsible for, develop to, for developing <laughs> warp-based technology. He's possibly the brightest mind amongst the G3's noodles. ranks. However, a he's a bit of a hermit, so he generally remains idea. off the grid, Those rarely leaving his own warp-based laboratory. Okay, so we're going to his base. All right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. Our team already has four guns. Isn't that enough? I'm asking for real. I really don't know. Trust me. We need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh, another Gatlian. That's fantastic. That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Don't get mad at me for not knowing this, because remember, my brain's been scrambled. But how would we find him? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. I haven't known you very long, Gene, but I respect you more than anyone else I've ever met in my life. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Respect oh, and you. before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Oh, shit. And Jill came tumbling after. Hey, 
there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Detective mode? Hey, what's so skinny on this giblets fella? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Very keen on this, yes. Slam. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? And two and two makes four. Let's do what the suit says, kid. I just thought maybe my mom and dad would be with you. Yes, I have tried everybody now. Well, I okay. told her I'd be here before. So we gotta go out there and figure out, get some intel. Whoa, we don't have to shoot them. Ah, our first suspect. We had to find out if they knew anything about Dr. Giblets, but they weren't gonna make things easy for us, see? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. All right. Where's Dr. Where's Dr. Giblets? I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is, but <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Do I look nervous? <laughs> Oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. <laughs> Am I... what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. What? Why do you care? If you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches, and yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you can just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it, I promise. It's, uh, wow. It's right there on the, the tin. It's the bad TV show, not a good one. Okay, um, maybe next I'll just sort of not talk for a little bit. I'll just stand here. <laughs> it won't be good when I do that, but, uh, you know, I'm just going to do it anyway. And, you know, we got to wrap this up pretty quick, because if it goes on too long, it starts getting into that, like, anti-comedy thing and actually becomes good. So, you know, we're probably going to end the show pretty soon. So, don't, uh, <laughs> don't start raving to your friends about how, how, how avant-garde this is or anything. It's not. It's just, uh, I'm standing here being boring. <sighs> yep, my name's Pubis. <laughs> and, uh, you know... I'm not, I don't even want to move. I'm just going to stand good. silently. This guy's actually kind of funny. Here comes my friend, uh, Greenbo. Greenbo, how you doing? Yo, the television hey. is... Hey! I'm doing television great. television is this is pretty lit, I'm not going to lie. I'm uh, actually having a very good day. I found a 20 peso bill on the ground. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Um, anything else happen to you? No, no, just this 20 peso bill thing. That's it. Anything, like, exciting coming up in your life? Anything, uh, you know, sad maybe happen to you? Any, anything just uh, that's not baseline boring? Well, no, I thought the 20 peso thing was kind of exciting. You know, maybe more exciting than this show usually gets. So I, I just figured I'd share that. But nothing else, really. Nothing sad, nothing happy. Just normal. Okay. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> see you later, Greenbow. Have a good day. All right, well, I will. I'll try my best. Might be a might be a bad day. Most likely just going to be a neutral one, though. Not good, not bad. Well, you know, um, this is the bad show, so if it's neutral, that's still actually pretty good for what we're aiming for. Well, it's too bad uh, I'm not really a big part of the show. I'm just this one segment. So see ya. All right, well, uh, thanks everyone for watching the bad show, the bad TV show. It's not good. All right. I love you. Goodbye. Hello. I'm the last member of this species, coming here to tell you that I want to fuck another species. <laughs> you see, 20 years ago, my whole species died off in a nuclear war, and I haven't been fucked since then, because I have what? this weird genital thing. 
But if you have something that is compatible with my little thing, if you want to look at it real quick, I'll show it to you from all angles. Here, you see it this way. Now I'm going to turn, and you see it this way. Now I'm going to turn. This is the front. This is the angle you saw initially. This is uh, the, the thing. <laughs> this is how I would typically get fucked. And I just want somebody to fuck me. Thank you. Hey, listen, sorry to interrupt, but I'm not compatible with your genitals, but I, I quite like them. You like what you see? 100%. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you film? What is this? Are you filming a... What, what, what's with all the cameras? I'm this sorry to interrupt. This game is I bad. I this little sick little fuck show to get me fucked. Oh, I see. <laughs> 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 Hello, I'm Darren Mindbanger. Everyone, gather around. I'm about to do a really crazy trick. What? We can't hear you. And I'm about to bang your mind. Um, Show me what's in your pocket. <laughs> what are you doing? I will guess what's in your pocket. Get the fuck away from me. What, okay, what are you... I have a deck of cards. Get the fuck. And one you, of the yeah, cards you're... is marked with a signature. You're trying, you're like grabbing at me. My arms just kind of do whatever they want to do. Please go away. I'm, I'm daring my banger. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, this is uh, this is the bad TV show. It's a TV show that's not good. Oh, um, man. The idea here is that just nothing good happens. On. The masses were out in droves. God, there it. was we no way we were getting Keep passed. it up, Playboy. Just open the gates. I don't want to miss the Hyperbon 6 midnight launch at High on Life. Damn, people are really playing here. Right? Oh, uh -huh. look at this. Suddenly everybody wants to get into the dirty old slums. Just because High on Life is doing another big midnight lunch. The store's new too. That's gentrification for you. I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but I'm actually pro-gentrification. I love it. Open the gates. Daddy needs his new hyper bong. Yeah. Yeah, there's someone over here that we have to interrogate. I'm loving this! Over there. Stop right there, Slick! We're looking for Dr. Giblets. You're gonna help or what? Slick? What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. How you doing? Like, with your weird interrogation? Awful! I wish you'd stop! What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! Put the, the drug guys. No! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? I don't know, you tell me. I don't know, and I don't give a shit, I'm busy. You need anything else or can I fucking go? Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Hi, Bordo! We're looking for Dr. Giblets. Can you help? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. Oh, did we do something wrong? Sorry, should we not ask about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something or beat it, buster. Let's see what Tom's doing. Let's see what Tom's doing. I can tell Brother was hiding something. Every mook in town's got their secrets. It's just a matter of getting them to sing, see? That's right, yeah. Let's come back when we know a little more and see if we can push this guy over the edge. All right. Somebody's over here. Hello? Hi, is this Slippo's Pizza? I want a pizza now! I want it right now! Do you get me? Not in 30 minutes or less or whatever. I need it instantaneous! And I know we have the tech for that. Why are you still delivering pizzas by foot? Just 
zap them to me. There's like 10 different ways you can do it by now. Portal door, warp face, anything. I don't care. Just get it to me right now. Wait. Never mind. I'm not hungry. Bye. That was weird. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was extremely weird. Okay, there's someone else over here. We gotta find him. You look cool! Can we talk to you? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? <laughs> I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Okay. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. Rise to it. What's up, dude? Look, I said I don't know nothing about Dr. Giblet, so leave me alone. Unless you want to buy something, that's different. You can still buy stuff from me, that's totally fine. Hey, uh, my name is Thomas. Piece of shit! I'm gonna kill him! <sighs> Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight Lodge is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead! <laughs> Understood, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, we are Whoa, out of great sleuthing, detectives. That was an S rank interrogation! Uh, so, um. Alright. Hey. Uh, my name is Thomas Snitchell, and I just want to say I didn't kidnap that alien baby. The trial wasn't publicized, it wasn't on air, like nobody saw it. I, I was I was pronounced innocent, but nobody really saw it, so I, I I'm, I'm, I'm buying these commercials. Oh, it's you. Innocent. That hurt we my feelings the again? Leave them alone. Hey, what's up, best friend? friend. I can't believe I'm telling you to be careful, but guess what? I kind of care about you now, so sue me. Ah, Gene. Gene's part of the fam. It would be better if you if the thought the of you dying didn't make me sad, but it does make me sad, so we are here. <coughs> yeah, with Gene. Gene. For giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose where, where it don't. Wait. Oh shit! It's when you live in the darkness like me, you make a whole lot of enemies. It's just the life of a detective guy. Oh! 
guess what? There's more guys coming. Serious time, I'm not gonna lie. The dream team back in action. Ah, nobody's gonna miss you. Where's my squad leader? I don't know what to do. In there, I thought that they were going to sing. Alive. How's it been going so far? Let's get nasty. I swear to God, I'm gonna make a new account one of these days and go scorch earth on those mother. Let's go. Damn straight on those motherfuckers. Jeez. They can't be smoking us. I'm oh, sorry for saying scorch earth. I bet that hits a little close to home for you. Nah, bro. You're good, man. Looks like the property value's going up around here. High on life has got to be close. Is there anything else over here, though? Okay, like, can we go into, into the diner? Who's over here? Oh. Go inside the diner. Take a break, huh? I never 
That is brutal. The rules do not apply to the law. Oh, I just hope they don't make me buy a new adapter. Welcome to High on Life Store number 7923. Let's go. Your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no trampling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Okay, you got it, no worries. Well, 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 I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way, you know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit, that's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? What's up, dude? What do you sell here? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That what? hot new species you've been hearing about, High on Life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fix. He's a part of the cartel, smoking humans. Why do you build the store in the slums? 
We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Illegal? illegal? No, 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 not, not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. Okay. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great. But you do get a D ranking, because that one sucked. Oh, uh, uh, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick, and I'm going to be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. He's jittery. He's jittery. Uh, have you used Hubbard? Does the store have ties to the cartel? God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, well, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 midnight lunch, and we literally just opened, so uh, i only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. All right. You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before, but I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop fruit case for your Hyperbong? Oh, I'm so excited you asked! A Hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Okay. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy Hyper Bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Huh? Nah, I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but Hyper Bongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells Hyper Bongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. Oh man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone! It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me! Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just Nice give day up. for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is! I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except, this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right! Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong! Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. 
be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? Be careful, I got a Thanks for connecting with me. Alright. Okay, well. Holy shit, what, people are what mad. the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Damn, are you, are you good? Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like morally, he was very fucked up. Bad morals? Shouldn't have been friends with him, really. Not really a good idea. Don't know really why I liked him so much. Okay. Mag boots. A lot of people think mag boots are short for magnetic boots because they have magne magnets on their soles and you can use them to walk on magnetic surfaces. Well, those people aren't all right. It's exactly what it stands for. And not, no, no twist here. Congratulations to those smart people who knew what it was short for. Yeah, that's fine. I can totally take those mag boots. This probably isn't going to get us into space heaven, but those are good mag boots. And we need them. Hey, sick moves. You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things way better than David Glutes ever did. Look at you. Respect, dude. And RIP to your friend. Up and out of! I'm getting dizzy. Oh, nice.
thought, I thought, I thought it was a gunner there. Yeah, but they say I gotta go back. Okay, so gotta find out where to go here. Oh, return home and group it, group of jeans. Okay. Sludge on purpose? Come on, you can tell me. Welcome back. We've got come. Yeah, my house. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash, buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim, the Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd, the G3 cartel, or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? Yeah, we got this. This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Oh shit, yeah. Let's go see what Clug's been up to.
This game is serious. These guys are gonna take these guys out. Well, they, well, they know that we've been going oh, in. Welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Oh, enough pleasantries. Let's keep this moving. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really gonna help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Trust me, we're gonna blast him to pieces with or without you, but we just hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk, not sure what might be on it. Got it. That's where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa. Even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. And then we get to, you know. Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. We don't need luck. What are you doing here? Scram. Fuck yeah, let's go kill Dr. Giblets! That's great! I kinda regret not voting for him. You, uh, you seen Merv? Uh, no. Uh, why don't you come in? It's cold. He, uh, he took off as soon as we got home, but when I checked his cabin, he disappeared. Uh, I've never seen him this upset. I'm afraid he's gonna do something silly. That's funny. Scott hasn't come back yet, either. I keep thinking I'm gonna wake up soon. Well, this seems pretty nice. I bet all the humans are happy here. Hmm. <laughs> Wonder how my Bitcoin's doing. I can't get my apps to work here. Yeah, everyone's chilling here. Views of like what what Earth looks like, so so it's kind of soothing for us. Yeah, these people are chilling here. Yeah? She knows him? Oh, she saw a photograph. He didn't show me one. Okay. What's good enough for Sarah is good enough for me. The Bible my mother left for me. I can't toy.
I will kill whoever you desire, beautiful bounty hunter. <laughs> We're Welcome stuck here. to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of the Way. All right then. Hello, friend. My old life was flawed. Now I live the way of the highway. Hey, I'm the youngest one left alive. That means they're gonna sacrifice me to Lord Asphaltia tomorrow. I'm not too excited about it, to be honest, actually. Damn, I hope they, I hope you, you should get out of here.
Thank God, thank God someone's here. Oh my God. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. Holy shit, dude. You're fucked. What happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. Bet it was Dr. Giblet's base. Oh God. Oh God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't okay, I'll stay with you. No, come on, you're not dead yet. We're still here with you. You'll be fine. No, no, it, it's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Oh, just just don't leave. Okay, and I feel it. Here I go. Oh, I'm I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. Uh. Yep. And that's just how it is in this sick buck of a universe. Damn, well, we stay with him. Hey, 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 where, where are you guys going? You you promised me you'd stay with me until I until I Hey, hey, thanks for coming back. The You're hell? not really dying, are you? <laughs> No, 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 oh, oh, I'm dying, no, I'm actually, oh, not uh, for real this time, though. No. Oh, my God, oh, stay, don't go anywhere, stay with me, thank you. Oh, here, here I go, oh, my God. Oh. All right, enough of this guy, let's bounce. Hey, hey, what the fuck, you left me again, I'm, I'm not dead yet, assholes. Oh, come back and stay with me, please. Oh, oh. This fucking guy. If you leave me again, I swear to God. Be my guest. I thought you were already dead. Oh, whoops, whoops, never, never. Rest in peace, fucko. Put him over his misery. Let's do this. What happened here? Okay, giblets, you sick fuck! Come on out! Where are you? 
Oh, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Fine, let's just get this shit over with. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives because we need a good mystery to solve. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for. That's what drones are for, they're for combat. That's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments. I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what, that makes sense, everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you, that's what you're doing. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. He better be there. Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh, shit. Sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. Oh, really? Is that what we're supposed to These must be old Hyperbong prototypes. Way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out. Now we can move on to the next thing. drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms, but we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Dublitz was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. Oh, another Gatlian. A Gatlian's in there? Oh no, they look like shit. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful. Did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Doctor Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Doctor Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. So you wasted our fucking time, Pseudo! Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much, I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets! Okay, here, I'm, I'm gonna make this a little smaller. Just, there's so much going on. Yeah, there's so much going on, so I'm gonna make this a little smaller and just put this down here. 
Oh my god, you brought me back out! I am so sorry for whatever I did to make you not want to use me again for a while. I will never do whatever that was again. In the end, Dr. Giblets took the easy way out. A little disappointing because I was looking forward to a find. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. The heck? Really? What the fuck are you waiting for? The guy died. So let me carve him up already. Dr. Giblet's status report, no life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. What? Hello! If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave! Another ambush! That's detective life for you. Hmm. So many ambushes. Okay. Everyone called me crazy, but look at me now! I'm dead and you're trapped in here! Bald and prey to my glorious science you were ever so jealous of! That's right, Timothy! I love you. My old son killed me. For what? The inheritance? My lab? Or just a plain old space edifice complex? No matter. Just as you had no qualms about killing your own father, I shall gladly spill the blood of my firstborn! Could it be that? I think it's probably not. 
but I just want to make sure. I know you can't tell me because I'm dead. But soon you can tell me. Save it! Rig up base to set the spot. Rig up base. Do you stop deadly voice? 
the other guys, or is that just me? I think they called him Let's Do It. He was supposed to be a big deal on Gatlas, I guess. But you know me. I can't remember anything cool like that. It's fine. Hello? Hello there. You alive, guy? Oh, no. I think he's sleeping. Or you know what? Probably he's dead. I don't know. Maybe Gene can help? Yeah, probably. Barely on life support. I just wanted to say, you know, to, today really meant a lot to me, and, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up, so see you later, bye. And with that, everyone lived happily ever after. It was a happy, perfect day, and the children were laughing, see? Amazing. The end. Okay, I'm done with that voice.
ediyor onu. the giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these... You, uh, you seen Merv? Uh, no. Uh, why don't you come in? It's cold. He, uh, he took off as soon as we got home, but when I checked his cabin, he disappeared. Uh, I've never seen him this upset. I'm afraid he's gonna do something silly. That's funny. Scott hasn't come back yet either. Uh, I keep oh, thinking I'll right wake up soon and find myself back in my bed at school, just waiting to come home. I'm gonna give Sarah a call. Maybe she saw him around. She knows him? Oh, she saw a photograph. Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I I I I don't know about that. I mean, he he's, he's not really functional. I, I don't I don't I don't think he's dead. But oh, god damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. You would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay. Th thanks, Gene. But, you know, if, if you can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Good news and bad news? Well, what's the bad news? Okay, come on over. Let me give you the news. All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right, which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right, bad news. here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. Yeah, we're gonna go check there. All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, this is pretty embarrassing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh... I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, really? our favorite, uh, you and I, our best pals. Uh, why don't you come in? Okay. He, uh, he took off as soon as we got home, but when I checked his cabin, he disappeared. Uh... Okay, listen, just, just, it's easy. Put the other Gatlians down next to Jean, and let's get out of here, look for Lizzie, and have a chat. Uh, I keep thinking I'm gonna wake up soon and... Oh, sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the channel, Jean, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the four. All right, bounty hunter, let's head to Applebee's, <laughs> and we're, we're, let's find your sister. All right, guns. No funny business while the bounty hunter's away. We'll be just fine. Good luck out there. <laughs> Look at us, just you and me again, you know, just like old times, like the dream team, you know? Uh, so Applebee's, it's in the slums, which you, you know, you, you probably knew that. So your suit can point us in the right direction. So you take the lead, bounty hunter. You, you, you know, we'll talk with, you know, we'll, we'll, we're going to, we're, we're going to chat. It's going to gonna be there. good. It's oh, going to, it's all so good. Don't worry about this. That? Don't get shook yeah. up about the, I yeah, don't, I, there's no reason to be, uh, you know, d don't feel yeah, weird or anything. I'm not trying, you know what I mean? No, I don't want a TV show. Well, we got seven all right. Hey, listen, I'm sorry about being weird back there. It's just, well, oh, there's something I need to tell you. Whew, this is this is hard. Just give me a second. Oh, you got this, Kenny. Come on. What are you doing? Making it awkward. Here, tell me. 
All right, Kenny, you're talking to yourself now. They can hear you. It's not so hard. Just tell them everything. Tell me what's good. Wait. <laughs> you, you'd never judge me, right? I mean, we're such close partners at this point, you know? Like, nothing I could say could ruin that, right? <laughs> I'm just just kidding around. Just I'm just joking around. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm out of my body right now, I think. Okay. He's hiding something. You gotta talk to me, dude. Oh you, boy, you, okay, so that um that dying Gatlian that we saved, let's do it. Let's see if we can fix him up and he you know back alive. The thing is oh okay, sorry, sorry, I am just trying to figure out how to say this properly or, or you know, like communicate um how we normally do, right? You know, the Gatlian we saved, let's do it. Uh he knows some things about me that 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 the others don't know, and it's a it's nothing too crazy, you know? It's it, it, okay, no, it's it's bad. It's really bad. Oh, damn. Sorry, I don't mean to be cryptic. I'm just... Oh, this is tough. You know, this is really hard. I, I just don't want you to hate me. Well, what did you do? You don't want me to hate you. We are. Uh, I'm worried about your sister. You, you think Twig is working today? Hopefully. About to find out. That's why I couldn't go in the diner. Twig works there. Welcome to Applebee's. Table for two, right this way. Oh, uh, actually, Applebee's? we're wondering if someone named Twig is working today. He didn't show up for his shift. Sorry. Do you still want a table? Um, you know what? You know what? Maybe this is a good spot to talk. Uh, yes. We, we, we will, we will take a table. Enjoy your meal. Your waiter will be with you shortly. Thank you. Okay, listen, I I'm sorry for making us sit here at Applebee's. I know we're really focused on Lizzie, and that's kind of the important thing, but would you mind if I kind of got something off my chest here with you first? Yeah, tell me, dude. Whew, okay, thanks. You know, it's just, you know, it it's going to weigh me down if I don't say something. Okay, so you remember what happened on my home planet, Gatlas? It got taken over by the G3, like yours. You know, all my people got enslaved. Y you remember that, right? You know all that, right? Sorry, of course you do. Well, um, what if it was kind of, you know, just a little tiny bit entirely my fault? Uh, okay, I, I can see you're at a loss for words. I, I, I know how it sounds. I'm not the only reason the G3 invaded Gatlas. I'm just the only reason they even knew about it in the first place. Hey there, welcome to Applebee's. I'm going to be your waiter wow. for the day. Can I get you started with one of our signature cocktails? Uh, not, not now, please. We're, we're kind of busy here. Okay, sure thing. I'm going to go ahead and get that in for you. Uh, thank you. Okay, bounty hunter, so l l let me explain. Gatlas was isolated on the far edge of an asteroid belt. We were completely untouched by the greater interstellar civilization, j just like your planet. But, you know, I, I wanted out. Like, I wanted to see the galaxy. I wanted to see what everything out there had to offer. That's when Rel Del Mar crashed his ship into our planet. He was this crazy smuggler. He, he'd been all over and he'd seen it all. And, 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 and after I helped him fix his ship, he wanted me to be a part of his crew, you know? And he, he took me with him. And I'm back. Here we go. This is for you. All right, now what were you thinking for an appetizer? Uh, so I'm sorry. We're in the middle of something, please. I'm hungry, man. Great, it's coming right up. Oh, I don't know why I picked Applebee's to tell you this, but where, where were we? Okay, oh, right, um, obviously a guy like Rel, you know, he had to deal with all kinds of shady customers, and, well, you know, that led us to the G3, and Garmantuous, you know, he'd never seen an alien like me, you know, a talking gun with endless firepower, and, well, looking back, you know, I see how stupid I was, you know, I, I really do, but at the time, I couldn't tell, you know, I was being taken advantage of. I was going nowhere. No, everyone thought I was a fuck up. You know, I, I just wanted to prove to everyone that I could do something, you know? Open up. Here comes the appetizer.
as your train. Chicka, 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 choo, choo. Thank you. I ho- hope you like those. Now you better be ready to order that main course. You betcha. Shrimp I'm going to get that order right to the cook. Okay, thank you. So, I led the G3 right to Getless. Do you see where I'm going with this? We fought them off at first, you know? But they came back with some super virus that damn near zombified everyone. You know, a few of us were immune. We formed a rebellion. It was led by Let's Do It. He was my best friend, my mentor. He was one of the strongest Gatlians who ever lived, and I, I got him killed. In his dying moments, I told him everything, like I'm telling you now, about how I left Gatlas to pal around with a criminal, how I led Garmantuous and the G3 right to our planet, how I got everyone killed, except Let's Do It survived. Somehow, the G3 must have kept him alive to try to utilize his power. God, if we can really bring him back, do do, do you see my problem, right? Like, I'm going to have to tell the other guns what I did, you know, or else he'll tell them. All right, I'm back. Hope those tummies are ready for some yummies. Bon appetit. Dude, take a fucking hint. Can't you see we're in the middle of a thing here? Emotional thing. Uh, you know, this is important baggage shit we're dealing with here. Take a hint and get out of here for a second. Uh-oh, someone's feeling grumpy. Oh, wonderful. Now, w- what the fuck is happening outside? Lizzie? Don't follow us. Twig and I are in love, and we're going to travel the galaxy in his space RV. Uh, actually, this is moving kind of fast. Not Help me, please. Not that sentence. We're in okay, love. We gotta get to them. Hey, you didn't pay your bill. Oh fuck! Okay, you. this this, this changes shit. This is bad. Me. That means in real life too, not just in this game. I'm here live in downtown Blim City, where, as you can see, we've been invaded by violent and agitated G3 cartel forces. No one can say for sure why they're here. We're here to kill you, bounty hunter! <laughs> ah, okay. Well, there you have it. It looks like this is only a problem if you're that bounty hunter that they're trying to kill. I'm People Puckerton, Blim City News. Stay safe out there. Uh, so, I've got some more bad news. Uh, you were doing such a good job with all the bounty hunting rights, and you really were, so... I just made some new commercials and you ate them to drum up more business, and, well, let's just say they had your house's address, and now the G3 knows where we are, so they're attacking the house, so... Get back here quick, or they're gonna kill me and the other guy. My bad. Fucking... As if it couldn't get any worse!
other guns are there too. Well, I guess it's just going to be me and you. We're about to find out. Ready, but they won't follow. I'll handle that. Can you pull off a Henderson maneuver mid warp to juke them? Like what? Do you make that up? Can you scramble the warp? Fine, yes, scramble the warp. Bounty hunter, bring me to the warp core. Carefully and enter these exact coordinates. 
I may be 230, but I don't want to die yet. Are we? D d did we make it? Yeah. We're safe. Nobody on our tail, but uh, where are we? Am I missing something? I'm not picking up any signs of life out there. Then we're in the right spot. Kenny, where did you just take us? It was the only safe place I could think of. Careful. <laughs> toxic out there. I set up an atmosphere bubble so you can breathe, so don't wander too far. Or do. What does it matter anymore? Wow. Welcome to Gatlas, my home planet. Jesus. I didn't realize it was this bad. Fuck, there's nothing left. This was our home? Pretty soon Earth is gonna look like this too. We have got to stop the G3, bitch. Sorry, nobody answered me. I asked if this was our home. Anyone? Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Fine, I don't need an answer. God, yes, creature. It, it was our home, and it got all fucked up. We're, we're, we're trying not to think about it too much. Got it, thank you. Well, it looks like shit. How is it? We, we, we don't want to talk about it. That bad, huh? Well, uh, don't get all depressed about it. We've still got more guys out there to kill. Let's powwow real quick. Damn, dude. Look, I hate to be pushy, but are you ready for your next bounty? You know what, kid? Maybe you should get some rest. Let's save the bounty hunting for tomorrow. Head on upstairs. I'll take care of things down here. I hate to say it, but Gene's right. Let's get some shut-eye. We'll make this right starting tomorrow. Strawberry lips controls. And like an so this is your bedroom, huh? It's fine. I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. And I can go to sleep. I need All right. Good night. In my couches. So got the pizza boxes on his bed. Making me hungry right now. Damn, we lost our sister. We have to warp somewhere else. I thought our guns were gonna get taken away. All right, you're finally up. Okay, let's get back to it, I guess, you know? I, I, I hope Gene has a lead on Lizzie. Let's go. Yeah, look who finally decided to wake up. You know how late it is? Because I don't. There's no sun on this dead rock of a planet. By the way, I got you a little something something. A new suit upgrade. Extra overshield. You're welcome. Oh. Let's get to business. I've got something you like. You can breathe easy. I'll get right to it. I tracked down Lizzie's bio signal. Oh, that's great. So, so she's... She's alive. Don't worry. But she's on the move. Probably on a ship, so we have to act fast or we'll lose her. If you're ready, just step through the portal door. All right. Then we'll get Lizzie and then call this episode. Call this episode a wrap. We are almost on two hours now. I don't know. Okay, fine. I don't know either. Isn't the sex good? I don't know. I can't. 
None of our shit even lines up correctly. You could be pregnant and I would fucking wonder how that happened. My cum goes all over outside of your body. Well, okay. I don't know if it's good either. Your body is really confusing. God, I'm just so confused. Aren't we in love? You're asking me that? Dude, you're the one who dragged me out on this trip. I wasn't looking for anything serious. I just wanted to get laid. But even that turned out to be some weird fucking Hellraiser puzzle. Oh, shut up. Don't blame this on me. There's plenty of ways you could have figured out how to use my equipment, so to speak. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Oh, yeah, thank God. You came just in time to save me. Me is who you came to save. Thank you. Fuck your sister, dude. Woo. Cuckoo! Girls, am I right? Love is tough. What the fuck are you doing here? Uh, I don't know. We were a little worried about you. God, yeah, dude. everyone needs to chill out. When have you smoked? What, you're a smoker now? Wait, what is it? Camels? Marble? 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 Marbleos? Marble? Marble? Marbleos? Marbleos? I don't know. What's it to you? What do you want? Well, I don't want to come home. It's not even my home anymore. It's Jean's jack-off mansion, and it's your little clubhouse where you can unwind for a few minutes between bouts of, oh, I don't know, murdering criminal gang lords. Hey, I'll go home. You can take me home. How about that? I'm your new sister. Congratulations. Just get me the fuck out of here. No, you're staying, Tweed. We're in love. Say it. Say we're in love. Okay, never mind. I can't go. I have to be in love with your sister. Look, I hate to be insensitive, but it's dangerous out in space for humans right now. We even got chased out of Blimp City by the G3. Whoa, really? Yeah, it was rough. Listen, I get that there's a lot right now that's bothering you, but can we convince you at least to just come home with us and figure it out there? But I'm busy being in love with Tweeg. Uh, yeah, we're busy. Sorry. So just leave, unless... What else were you worried about? Uh, no shit. Yeah, we're yelling at each other. You want a fucking medal for being able to figure out when two people are fighting? Okay, Einstein. Hey, you want us to throw you a parade or something for figuring out the most obvious shit? Okay, honestly, now it seems like the two of you are getting along. Yeah, that's the problem. Sometimes we're happy together. Yeah, if we just hated each other all the time, fucking, I wouldn't be here. And you'd be playing some rock star game, you fucking asshole. <laughs> but we love each other. <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought this would help. Just us getting away together. My old life's fucked. Everyone else is doing their own thing. I just wanted... I wanted to bang someone on a rocket Winnebago in space. So sue me. Me too, Lizzie. Your body terrifies me in every way imaginable, but... Yeah, me too. <clears throat> what? Wait, what? Well, hold on. Maybe I'm not happy. I mean, how do you know I'm happy? How does anyone know they're happy? How does a person know they're happy? Am I happy? She's not happy! Fuck, man! Don't listen to him. I am very fucking happy. Twig and I are going to figure out how to bang all night long with our weird incompatible bodies and then we're gonna be even happier. I mean, that would be sick. Just don't go yet. Just hold on. I don't know. What are you thinking? Oh yeah? How? Okay, yeah, come how on. about you just let me handle this on my own? You already decided to become a weird alien-killing expert. Don't strain yourself trying to be a dating expert, too. Um, yeah, no offense, but you're kind of butting in, dweeb. Hey, only I can talk to them that way. And look, I'm sorry I dragged you out here. Really, I am. I know you didn't want to. But I just, sure. I wanted to know for sure if if we worked or not. Oh yeah, it's cool, I forgive you. I just think, oh, oh really? Even after forcing you to leave with me? Yeah, okay, it's fine, yeah. Did you know I almost sold you out to the G3? They were offering like a lot of pesos to find out where you were. And that would have been way worse. What the fuck? 
Ugh, Twig, you piece of shit. Wait, what? Y y you're joking, right? No, I really almost did it. Like, I had my phone out and everything. If Lizzie hadn't dragged me on this trip, I probably would have. I'm not good. I'm a shithead. Lizzie shouldn't be dating me. Gene was right. And it's a little fucked up because he was being a misogynist, but he was actually right. I do suck, and I'm fine with it. That's just who I am, and I love it. So fuck off, love it. Sue me if you don't like it, but good luck finding a judge who'll take that case, or a lawyer, fuck it, you're a fucking idiot. Well, Jesus, I was about to do a, a whole thing about how we should take a step back and slow things down, but you know what? Fuck you, Tweek. Yeah, th yeah, Tweek, fuck you. Hey, thanks for coming to get me, seriously. It, it means a lot. Uh, okay, enough, let's go. You got it. Smell you later, Tweek. Hey, you guys are welcome back whenever you want to come back. If it be, I mean, fucking five minutes from now you can come back. I don't give a shit. I'm lonely. We're not coming back, idiot! Yeah. Later, dude. Okay, happy reunion. Everyone's fine. Can, can we just get back to bounty hunting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Clug just sent over the data on Nipulon, so you can head out while I fix Les to it. Did you, uh, know how much firepower this guy's packing? He's gotta be at least ten times as powerful as any of you other Gatlians. Wait, you really think you're gonna be able to fix him? Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably have them all patched up by the time you get back. You're serious? That, that, that soon? Yeah. Don't worry about it, kid. Your friend's gonna be just fine. Old Papa Gene watched a bunch of GooTube tutorials, and now he knows his way around cybernetics. That's, that's, that's great. It's, it's just... What? You don't sound too happy. You know how hard I've been working to save this guy? Fuck. Whew, okay. I guess it's now or never, Bounty Hunter. Can you set the other guns down on the table for me, real quick? All right. Hey, everybody. I, I... I need to come clean about, uh, well, sh phew, this is f way tougher than I thought. Spit it out! Yeah, spit it out! No, I I, I can't. I, you're gonna hate me. Dad, th we, we don't have secrets. We're a family! Well, hold on. I might decide to hate him. It's okay, Kenny. You can tell us. Oh, just fucking say it. Okay, fine. Y if you don't hear it from me, you're just gonna hear it from Les Do It when he wakes up. Okay, what if I were to tell you that I'm the reason the G3 invaded Gatlas and enslaved our race? We'll be mad. I don't think I could get over it. Yeah, don't say that. You know what? It would really suck to hear you say Kenny, that. Kenny, come on. That's not oh, true, man. right? No, no, no. That would be impossible. Are you doing a bit? Okay, well, there's, there's more to the story than just oh, a... Fuck, he's scrambling for words. It really is true. He really did cause the downfall of our civilization. Kenny, how? That doesn't even make sense. How can it be your fault? I left Gatlas before the G3 invaded. But, but how could that be possible? We didn't even have interstellar travel on Gatlas yet. I ran into an alien smuggler who crashed his ship on our planet, and I was going nowhere, and, and, and he took me with him on these adventures, and it was supposed to be, you know, this fun, awesome thing, and but then we got mixed up doing the wrong job with the wrong crowd. Garmantuous and the G3, and I accidentally led them right to Gatlas. It all happened so fast, I, I thought they killed Let's Do It. I, I told him everything as I watched the light leave his eyes. I didn't know he I didn't know he was gonna survive. You mean you didn't think you'd ever have to tell us the truth? No, 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 that's not it. I, I... Oh, this is all sorts of fucked up, Kenny. I don't even know what to say. See? I'm not the biggest fuck up here. Not now, dude. Everyone, please! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know what I was doing. We're so close to taking down the G3. Let's just Oh, okay. Let's just pretend you're not the reason everyone we know and love is dead, yeah? Sure! Easy! Done! What's next on the agenda? Forgive Garmantuous too? Come on, that, that, that's not fair! No fight! I'm sure we can all figure this out! No creature, he can't just drop that bomb on us and expect everything to be the same! I, I'm sorry! Look, I hate to be this guy, but we're running out of time. Nipulon may not stay where he is for long, so... I know things aren't... 
the ideal, but... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll finish the job. And then you're out of our lives, Kenny. Come on, Sweezy, you don't mean that. Mm -hmm. Enough. Just pull yourselves together for this mission, at least. You're professionals. You're bounty hunters. Act like it. Mm-hmm. Fine. <laughs> okay, yeah. Gather everyone up. It's time to get back on track. Nipulon just flew back into his drug lounge on Port Tarine. So we got a strike now. Can you handle that? She Damn, this is getting serious. Lips controls. And like an ass rising Let's just get this over with. Moist on my lips. And I can lull to sleep thine ancient conscience in my couches deep. I am so learned in the amorous art that when men I crush to my dreaded heart or to their mumbling kisses, there. All that damn time! Oh, you want me out again, do you? Meanwhile, with strawberry lips controls, and like an asp writhing on burning coals. Damn, things get real serious. I think, I think I'm gonna end it right there. And I can Please tell everybody to hit that like button.